morning folks how y'all doing um so yeah out in the backyard uh i got some work to do so figured i'd bring you along i was gonna do this on uh youtube but youtube won't let me use their native streaming application which is kind of a drag um so i'd have to um apparently i you know my channel is ineligible does not qualify to do live events but at the same time, if I want to use Streamlabs, they're fine with that. Which has got to be the dumbest rule I've ever heard. Why would you say, we're not going to give you the best possible opportunity to do this right, but go ahead and do it half-assed with somebody else's product? That makes no sense to me. Anyway, so I'm not using their product at all. I'm over here on Facebook. If this works out, I'll upload it later. I've got the earbuds in. Uh, we'll see how well that works. Um, it does kind of change the audio quality about what I hear. So, uh, it's a beautiful day, uh, which means it's an excellent opportunity to spill water on my feet. <laughs> you know, work on the aquaponics. So I'll show you what I'm up to here. All right. Um, now that I understand that for whatever reason, uh, you, um, Facebook only does, um, uh, portrait mode instead of landscape mode. Um, I understand how to set this up. I'm using my uh, my lightweight tripod as a steady cam. Um, it doesn't seem to work very well, but eh, we'll see how it goes. So, um, you know, we talked about this before. Say nothing's changed much. The only thing that's different is this. We'll talk about that. I did plant a couple things because at the point I'm running water through this anyway, I figured why not. So that's my sweet peas there and there, and that's flocks, right? So just see how well they do. Um, and hey, mom, how you doing? Um, so yeah, so I've got these planted essentially because I've got nutrients in the water already. I need to soak them up. So I've also thrown some uh, duckweed into the uh, into the fish tank because I don't have fish in here. So for now it's okay, right? Um, but yeah, that gives the idea. You can see. So what I'm going to do um, today is I want to get this plugged into that. So uh, again, with the idea of, you know, standing on the shoulders of giants, I'm trying to document what it is I'm doing a bit. So I'll try doing uh, a bit of this build live, uh, which is going to involve me, do, me doing dubious things with power tools. But, uh, you know, there we are. Um, what I need to do is build a stand for this thing down there to raise this whole thing up to the same height as this. So I figured I'd bring everyone along for the process in case anyone's got questions. Um, and, you know, obviously enough, shout out and chat, what have you. Uh, let me know. Uh, swipe left to reveal comments and, oh, well, thank, why thank you, uh, Facebook. I appreciate you obliterating the middle of my screen with that, with that helpful suggestion. Um, yeah, just I had something flash up in the middle of my screen here. So, yeah, um, so that's what I'm going to work on, like I say. So what I've got here is just, it's a ABS plastic hat barrel, right? It's one of those in black. I've just cut it in half, used a hole saw, and put a, uh, a bulkhead fitting in the bottom of it. Um, it needs to be tightened because it's obviously got a little bit of a leak. But for my purposes, this should be enough to prove whether or not this works. So the idea is to raise this up so that the side of this is level with the side of that. And then, oops, so yeah, the side of this is level with the side of that, getting used to reframing here with the narrower camera view. And then um, put a T fitting in here that will bring water into this so that this will flood at the same speed this will flood. And that will let me find out if that changes how my siphon works. And that's pretty much the last step I have to do before I can actually finish these two grow beds up and get them plugged in and working, right? So the project is ongoing. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to grab this out of the way. I'm grab the little kickstand here. And we're going to walk around to my workspace. Let me flip the camera around here. Beep. I must say the new app, the, the new Facebook app, or maybe it's just that because I'm using a better, a better camera, uh, well, phone, 
not camera, but phone, um, works pretty well. Um, so Facebook seems to have their priorities right when it comes to live streaming, which is the actual synchronization of audio and video. It's really disconcerting when someone's face doesn't match, you know, when the, the, the motion of the lips doesn't match what it is the eyes are telling them they ought to be hearing. So I'm going to leave this here for a second because I need to go in the house and open that door up. So I'll be right back and then we'll do some more here. Okay. Let me see here. Can I do this? Yeah, I can. Yeah. It's a cheapy little uh, tripod, but it gets the job done. I'll be right back. I don't know if the audio will kick out while I'm going, because I'm kind, kind of walking far away. But... <clears throat> okay. Garage door opener. So normally I do all this work out in the backyard, right? But Doug, my roommate, has just gotten home from work and he's awful damn tired. So the last thing I want to be do, doing is running a skill saw and everything else under his back window, under his bedroom window. He's uh, pretty tolerant of a lot of things, but there are limits. So I got my tape measure. We're going to go around back, take some measurements, come out here, do some cut work, and a little bit of back and forth. It's going to involve some walking, but bluntly, I can use the exercise. Hang on a second. Turn the camera around. Here we are. I suppose, I suppose if you're watching this, either live or... Uh, later on, you're as much here for me as you know, everything else. So, while the uh, backyard does need mowing, it's actually because we're currently it's intentional. We're doing it. Uh, essentially, we're running the place as a uh, bee preserve. We have hummingbirds. We've got, I think, all total, we've got five different species of birds, seven different species of bird, including hummingbirds, gold finches, and um, purple finches that come here. So right now we're leaving the backyard a little bit messy so that there's all kinds of dandelions for the, um, for the various insects uh, and bees and birds to take advantage of. But we're also trying to be good neighbors. We're in the process of getting the front lawn all cleaned up so that it, from the street view, at least, we don't look like a mess. So what I need to know is, how high is this? And the answer seems to be, let me flip this around so you can see what I'm doing. Right. And again, everything here is an imperial because for some reason, 20, what, 40 years on, the Canadian building system still runs an imperial. So that is 38 inches. And this thing is what? A foot? 12 inches? down here uh, yeah 12 inches okay so 38 minus 12 well that's 36 minus 10 which is 26 so my stand needs to be 26 okay and then I think shorter is okay long is not I can be a little bit short if I want. Rotate your phone. No, I'm not trying to rotate my phone while recording. Stop that, you're uh, And then that height winds up seven. So I need to raise this 19 inches. Okay. What's the easiest way to do that? Well, let's take a look at this thing. Let's see if I can do this here. Here we are. See? Yeah. Yeah, like I say, it's a cheapy little tripod, but it gets the job done. So this thing is built at a slant, right? Because the barrel bottom is curved, so it kind of cradles it in these two points. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is basically tap the legs onto the outside of this. 
There's two ways to do this. I can either make the legs part of this, or I can make it something that this sits on. I think it'd be easier to do the other way around. So I need a little bit of wood, which I have lots of. So let me go put my gloves on here, and we'll go grab some sticks. And we'll build something. Basically what I need to do is build a, a, a box without sides. Let's go take a look at what I got. No, oh, okay. The uh, gloves, my fancy gloves here, do not let me work the phone. Oops, sorry about that monster jiggle. So, tap that button. Go get some wood. Um, <laughs> so I took the old aquaponic system apart, right? So that was a bunch of two of uh, two by four and two by three. Um, all of it cut to five foot lengths. So that's this stuff here, right? So I figure if I just two sticks of this, I'll get what I want done. So I'll grab a couple of these. We'll head back. Um, well, apparently my internet connection dipped out for a moment. So I'll grab two of these. That's one. Oops. <laughs> it's hard to do this while carrying a tripod. Uh, I need a little trailer or something. Normally I'd steal Chrissy's trailer, but she's gotten grumpy with me about constantly stealing her trailer because then it's never available when she wants it. <laughs> Didn't have to buy my own. So, yeah. All right. Doesn't look like we've added any squirrels to the garage. Had that happen last year. My, myself and Doug were out here working on a project and heard some noise behind us, and we thought that was really funny. We're, you know... We're out here. Who could possibly be in the garage? Turned around, found a little squirrel that had just bopped itself in, was sniffing around some of the bags of feed. <laughs> Can't fault the little bugger, right? So, let's uh, see here. So I'll turn the camera around so you can see what it is I'm working on. All right. So that's my workspace. The, uh, that pile over there you're seeing, by the way, that's all stuff. We're going to rent a dumpster. That's all stuff that's just accumulated. We, there was three households where the stuff moved in here, four households where the stuff when we bought the house and moved in. Um, and so uh, we've just been sorting out there over the course of the winter and pitching stuff that we don't need. And uh, the idea is we're just going to rent a dumpster and get rid of it all in one go. So I said I needed 19, huh? Okay, so that's one, so I'm actually going to cut it to 20, and I'll explain why. So 20, 40, and 60, I'll get three sticks out of this. So what it is I'm going to do is I need 19, but I'm going to anchor the, the cross piece at 19 and leave a one inch or 25 millimeter uh, gap that sticks up just to prevent this from moving out past the edge of the board. I think that's how I'm going to do this. So I need three pieces at 20 inches. Okay. I will caution you. I'm going to run a skill saw here in about two minutes. That's going to get real loud. Uh, I can't turn the audio off, I don't think. But uh, I'll warn you before, just so you, can mute, just so you can mute the stream until I'm done. Right? No. So what I should just do is 20. And while I am aware that I shouldn't do it this way, the reality is, is that the curve isn't going to change enough and I'm intentionally overcutting the board anyway. So before all the professional carpenters in the audience go, Michelle, what the hell are you doing? Um, taking a shortcut that because the effect doesn't matter. So I need, that's those two, right? And I need one more out of this board. So I'm just going to measure that now. That's an old mark. I don't need it. There we go. 
go. 20 inches. Again, I would rather work in metric, but just everything I've got. Um, if I say, if I go to a two by four would be a 50 by 100. If I go to my local, um, my local, um, board shop, you know, my local wood supplier, um, a, a large de uh, depot like building for home supplies, if you know what I mean. Um, and I ask for a 50 by for some 50 by 100 boards at 1.5 meters. They look at me funny. If I say five foot lens to two by four, they say, yeah, they're over there. Um, it's just weird. It's also technically illegal in Canada, <laughs> but no one seems to be policing that. Okay, we're going to cut some wood here. Now, where's the... Okay, yeah, that's... Put these here. Put this stuff away. So, um, I, uh, keep all the wood screws and stuff. I pull it on my projects. So I'm using some recycled wood screws to do this. And I'm just going to zap this to the, to the tabletop here. Whoops. A little loud. My apologies. There we go. Okay. That's the steel for my rocket heat, my rocket mass. I got to get that done, but not today. But it is still on the do list. Uh, June, June, July is actually an excellent time to work on things like the rocket mass heater because, you know, you're punching holes in roofs and stuff like that. You're not causing problems. Okay. So there we are. So we'll get this done. I think you can see that. I'll turn that here. Yeah, you can see what I'm doing. I just need to move these steel these steel circles out of the way. Uh, so yeah, um, this is going to get loud <laughs> while I'm cutting. Um, so apologize, apologies in advance. Um, you might want to mute this until I uh, give a thumbs up in front of the camera. But we'll see what happens. All right. So here we go. I know Ryobi is not the favorite brand of a lot of people. I do like the cordless. Okay, that's that. And then... Okay. So, uh, funny story, when I was way young, my uh, dad took me out to the, I mean, way young, uh, we're talking 1979 here, oops, my dad took me out to the construction site for the new house in Lower Sackville, uh, of course, you know, very sheltered, very sheltered little boy, 
had no idea what a skill saw was. And uh, so I was playing around and uh, dad flashed up the skill saw and I ran, screamed, cried and hid in the back seat of the car because the noise scared me. <laughs> so yeah, you know, I love stupid little memories like that are always fun. Just how much the world changes or how much you change in the world, right? Okay, so the idea is that these are going to be the legs, right? And I need a cross piece that's going to sit under them that is the width of the bottom of the stand. So the question is, what's the bottom of the width of the stand? The answer would appear apparently be 14 inches. It's a little less than 14, but I'm going to cut it at 14. So that means I will need four pieces, 14 inches long. So I need a 14, a 28, and I think that's all I'm going to get out of this board. We'll check. There's 14, 28, and then 14 more would be 30, 42, and I stop at 40. So that's no good. So I'm going to have to go get another piece of wood. So 14, 14, and you're what, just so I know for future. 13, of course. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab another board. Actually, I'll bring you along for the walk. I just need the one board, so... Let's see here. Flip the camera around. There we go. Howdy, folks. i got to do a time check here in a minute. So this is my routine, uh, one, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, um, company I work for thinking big, incredibly kind outfit. I don't see, they, uh, talk to my, uh, my boss, my super, well, not boss, scrum master, AKA, you know, team lead and, uh, explain to him that, you know, what it was I was doing and said, you, you know, do you mind if I just start showing up 10 30, three days a week? He said, yeah, whatever. As long as the hours are getting work, they don't care. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, this is what I do. I work on my uh, on my projects. Um, and I'm going to be trying to do as much of it on live stream as I can. Excuse me, just getting some sawdust off the camera here. The idea, if I can, is that I want to involve people. Um, you know, it's Anno Covitatis, as I joke, right? Year of the plague. Um, and... You know, I mean, really, we've been at it for, well, March, March is three, it is six. So we're a year and three months in on this, right? Um, and so I'm kind of feeling disconnected. I mean, it's hard to feel disconnected. I know, I get it. You know, we're hanging out, we've got the internet, we've got FaceTime, we've got all these great tools, but yeah, I feel like... How you doing? Fine. Okay, cool. Talk to you later. Yeah, for sure. I just, mm. And yet at the same time, we're all avid consumers of content, right? And I'm also very aware that my current hobby would be impossible without a whole bunch of other people who are doing exactly what it is I'm doing right now. Taking the time to turn a camera on while they're messing around with a skill saw to build a, ki to build a kickstand for a barrel or whatever, right? So I think that's part of what I'm going to do, just to be in touch with my friends, let everyone know what it is I'm working on, share my hobbies with the people who care. And hopefully someone out there on the big bad internet in a year or so will trip over this and say, hey, that's cool, I want to do it too. So that's the point behind my blog, that's the point behind this stream. So yeah, hope it's helpful. I hope someone out there finds it helpful. So we're going to cut some wood. I'm noticing, by the way, folks, that I'm getting some... Um, connection fuzzies. Um, so it looks like depending where I stand out here, my internet connection kicks in and out. 
Um, so it's probably playing hell with the live stream, but I do apologize. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, so, yeah. Hope it's not too maddening on the other side. Let's cut some wood. All right, so here I need to measure um, another. I need to, so I got one, two at 14. I need two more pieces at 14. So I'm going to measure those and then cut those. And then there's two more pieces of wood I'm going to need to cut. I'm a typist. Do you know what? This is old wood. It splinters easily. Michelle, put your glove back on. Okay, 14 inches there. 28 inches here. Again, yes, I know, kerf, but again, it doesn't matter. <laughs> right? It's not, I'm not I'm not chewing a big enough piece out with the kerf for that to matter. Right? That's why I always, for any of my, particularly when I'm building stands, all my boards are a little too long. I leave myself general, a little bit of extra in all my measurements, and I just cancel the curve out that way, right? How much? Don't know. That much, right? And just so I know what I'm doing, 14 and 14, and I want that side. Okay. And then this um, is going to be exactly too short for, what it, for the next thing I need, but we'll figure it out. Um, so the first thing I'm going to, so what I'll do is I'll get these boards cut and then I'll actually start putting them together with the other pieces that I've cut already. So if all goes well, you'll actually get to see something today. All right. Again, some loud noise running the skill saw. to our keep. That's scrap. We'll put it over here. Okay. This is going to be awkward, but that's fine. Piss off. <laughs> there we are. the one I want. So now, something, something clever idea. Let's see here. Let's uh, aim this where you all can see what I'm working on. That's a bit better. Um, actually, yeah, it's more comfortable for me up here. Really bothers me to not be able to use the wide angle camera um, on landscape on uh, landscape mode, but whatever. Okay. Now these boards are exactly different lengths. Of course, I'm going to put the cut edge up because the other end is already weather beaten and sealed. Um, so there we are. And then I'm going to measure up 19 and put a mark. And up 19. And put a mark. Right. Okay. 
and then mark that. And then mark this here. take this and it gets wood screwed down to there right and then I'll slide this one over do the same thing here so I'll go get some short some short wood screws because everything I got in this bucket unfortunately is three inch I think let me see what we got here oh no I do that's exactly too short, and that's exactly too long, right? Well, eh, yeah, it's too too long. I mean, yeah, everything I've got here is either ones or threes, so I'll have to go get some new ones. One sec. Do I have any twos? That's that's two inch nails. It's not what I want. <clears throat> Um, we had, we had a little carry bag full of wood screws, and the wood screws are not in the carry bag anymore. Douglas has been cleaning. Oh, what's he got here? Uh, no, it didn't wind up in there. What did you do, Douglas? Let me guess, put everything back down the, down the basement. Uh, nothing there, nothing there. Uh -huh, how about are these? That's, those ones are marked Doug. Uh, let me guess. All the two-inch screws are owned by somebody now for personal projects. Um, those are one and five eighths. Those will do, I think. Again, one and five eighths. What the hell? Why doesn't that say something like 35 millimeter or 37 millimeter? Right? And that's just too that's just too short. Well, what I'll do is I'm gonna borrow some of Chrissy's. Hey Chrissy, if you're watching this, I'm borrowing some of your woodsters, and I'll just buy a brand new box to, to replace them. Because I want to get this done. See, what it is, is Doug's been using these for Chrissy's bonsai bench out back. The twos are too short. That's, um, hmm, that's a problem, right? I would have to really countersink that for it to count. I guess I'm just going to be real careful with the threes. Just not dig in deep. Okay, well, fine. I guess I don't know if Chrissy needs any twos. Uh, what I need are two and a halfs, but uh, you don't have any. <laughs> I mean, I could use some wood glue, but the whole point behind using screws instead of nails is I want to be able to take this apart when I'm done with it, right? I don't like cutting wood as it is. Um, and the idea here, ultimately, is to be able to recycle a lot of this work. So, yeah. Okay, just get that far with this one. And then I go to 45 degree angle in. And then put the next one in. All right. And then I back that up a bit because I'm too deep already. Nope. There we go, that turns. Square this up. There we go. And a little bit of hand clamp going. Oops. Just like that. There we go. Uh, it moved a little, but it's close. It's going to be sitting on gravel, so close counts. And then do the same thing again. Okay. 
So let me just line this up at the top line here. Come in a bit from both corner from the corners. And down we go. You can stop there. And I only want to go a little way in because I know the mistake I made is because I got into the second board, what happened is when I started drilling down, it found the original hole and forcibly lined itself up with that, right? Which I don't want. So there we go. And that worked much better. There we go. So that's one leg, right? So the barrel stand will sit up against that. Right? That'll do it. Okay, so now I just need another one of those. So just to give you an idea what I'm doing, that's the mock-up, right? Obviously, I'm going to need to put another one to cross the bottom. Actually, I'll do that now, right? Because I want to I want to stiffen that up and make sure it's it's square and done. Let's see what time are we at here? Um, uh, what time is it? Huh. Uh, okay, I can't see what time it is. All right. For some, I'm, that's kind of irritating that I don't put the actual time up the corner of the screen. Give me a sec here. Okay, there we go. See, so yeah, at 9.46. So I got to wrap this up, actually. So I'll get the last, the, this piece done. And then I'll have to wrap it up for today. And I'll work on some more maybe after supper. Um, so then I'm going to come down half this gap. So that's 15 and a bit, right? So I'm going to call that, I'm going to say 8 from here. So 8, line, 8, and a line. And I want to go that way. I've done that to myself before. Had one piece above the line, have, have it above the line on one side and below the line on the other side. Yeah, not so smart. Okay, there we go. So then the next piece of this sits like that, right? And I'll need to straighten this as I go to make sure it's square, but that's all right. That's easy. So I'm going to put my first anchor in and those knots are going to be problematic. There's just no way around that. And then they do go through the whole way through the board. All right. Well, this side I'm just going to have to go shallow. I can go there, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Now, this is going to be a pain in the backside. <laughs> we'll take the time to do it right. So that goes there. Can you see that? Can you guys see that okay? Not really, huh? Yeah, I'm behind my little, up, my little upright stand there. I'll move this back. Yeah. Go away. There's a bumblebee sniffing around. Apparently it likes my aftershave. Okay. And there we are. That's that one done. Okay. So now I do the opposite. It's just that now I have to get everything exactly right where this is going to not work. Because if this isn't square, and I don't pin it properly the first time. So I would like it like this, but that's not square. <laughs> is the problem, right? Um, um, so what I have to do is put the first one in, square it up, and pin it. So this is going to get weird. And this is why when Doug gave me an aluminum square for, for Christmas one year, I was so damn pleased. 
Speed Square, I think they're called officially. I may need to, I might need to clamp this. Yeah, I'm gonna go with my speed clamp. It's going to be easier to you to clamp this in place than it is to fight with it. Double check that. So now that is basically good and solid, right? There's no way for the bottom of that to move outwards at all. So if I come over here, right, the idea is it'll, you know, when I get both ends done, it would sit like that at both ends with the barrel on top and it'll give me the height I need. And it's not a waste because I can then use that, that structure as a little bench for anything I want to do, right? So that's the idea I'm going with. Making a little bench that coincidentally I can do other things with. Anyway, folks. Um, that's it for me. I got to pack up and get ready to go for work. Like I say, I need to be up at my desk in 10 minutes at this point. Five, ten minutes, ten o'clock, you know, ten o'clock. So I uh, appreciate you hanging out with me uh, on a Thursday morning. I'll be doing more probably tomorrow. Um, uh, I'll probably finish up the woodwork tonight. And then tomorrow, uh, what I'll be working on is getting the plumbing done. So if you want to watch me spill a dozen or so liters of water on my feet, that's an excellent opportunity to do that. But yeah, thanks very much for hanging out with me. Um, I appreciate uh, appreciate the company. As always, comments, questions, suggestions in the appropriate places. Um, if this video looks okay, um, I will upload it to YouTube as well for anybody who's following along uh, with the aquaponics projects there. And uh, yeah, uh, I hope this was valuable. Um, I am not the world's greatest carpenter, nor have I ever been ever been asked to play one on TV, YouTube, or Netflix, but it's fun. Um, I've learned a lot working on my aquaponics stuff. So anyway, I'll uh, leave you with a bit of running water, and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.